All right, everybody. Carburetor is back here. I'm keeping things fresh for you. And I got something different for you again here. I'm trying to make a debate happen in the next couple of days. Me versus a Trumper, Trump supporter. And one of my viewers told me about a YouTuber who supports Trump that I might be able to debate. And I'm hoping to make this happen. So share this video and try to get his attention. Let's see, so that, so my YouTube viewer named, uh, what's his name? Parallel University told me about this sticks hex guy. So we're gonna take a look at him. So, uh, so before we get into it, I wanna remind everybody, give this video a thumbs up or down, and I'm going to be covering the election on election night, live here on YouTube. So you may wanna subscribe, so you'll be notified see here oh I want to point out here <laughs> yeah I need help sharing my videos right now because I've been uh, been kind of suspended by YouTube so I, I, I can't share my videos so I need some help doing that but as you can see I got just four and a half hours left and then I'm going to be all over it. So meet me there. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Here's the channel. I've been posting on his, his uh, channel. And I've talked to some of his viewers in the comments. We'll check that out too. Uh... So, let's see here. <laughs> I just looked at this recently here, just an hour ago. His about page description doesn't say much. This is, uh, this is just too special. He says, I am God. You may have noticed his name too. Uh, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, but he stole my description. Hey, Sticks, dude. You are not God because I am God. And you look like you're around 30. Well, I was saying I was God before you were born. In the mid-80s, I was saying that. I'm, I'm the god of YouTube, that's for sure. Yeah, everything I do, I, I become a god at that. And we're, we're going to check out some of his, one of his videos. And, and we'll see. Spontaneously, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, and also this video, no edits. To save time, I'm just doing this in one take and then just uploading that file. No rendering a video. I don't have time. You also may have noticed I've been talking faster. On the editing, I've been speeding up my videos. Because we don't have much time left. This is Carburetor in an Evil World. And the battle is on. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so one of his videos here. Uh, new video up today. Holy shit. Man. This guy's popular. All right. I've looked through his channel to to try to try to learn some things. 
Hmm. Look, I'm getting upvotes here. From I posted my newest video on Reddit. Getting getting some positive feedback. And it's about Joe Biden. Why why I'm voting for him. And here I've picked a video by Sticks uh, where he's talking about Biden. So, so, so I've been trying to get his attention. And in the meantime, uh, there's some of his supporters in the comments. And here, here's one reply I got back. Carburetor dude, laughing my ass off. I don't think I said anything funny there. How does the right act evil? Right, I just, I just said the conservatives they are acting evil, and uh, we can see it. We, you know, it's plain as day. How does the right act evil when all the riots? and violence is coming from the left. I hope I don't need to respond to that. But that's fans, that's fans for you. They're crazy. <laughs> but let, let's check him out. In a, oh, and someone, some other, <laughs> Be, one more fan. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them said, "This that that sticks does not debate guys who have insane uh, arguments." I guess I don't remember saying anything insane. I didn't even have to check. So uh, I've been defeating people everywhere. <laughs> Oh, he said idiotic, I think. Um, I have a genius IQ. I've been saying that a lot. What? I'm surrounded by insanity. Look at look at these commenters. The, the, commenters, the commenters are trying to bail out sticks. They're backing out for him. Yet they're supporting they they support Trump and what's why do you support him? I'm waiting for an answer. It sounds pretty insane. These people don't have an answer. And then look at this guy. Let's see if he's sane. Here we go. All right, everyone. We lead off today with something that's more amusing than anything. Biden is becoming less coherent by the day. Um, you know, he's uh, there's only like four days to go uh, till election. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think this guy's this dumb. I hope we're going to see some clips. Yeah, if this guy was going to run and hide because he's too scared to debate me, maybe I could just debate him here like I do with everybody else because no one else wants to take me on either. I think debating a Trump supporter would be easier than my debate with Bart. Now that's an insult. But, uh, okay, let's continue. Uh, oh, I wanted to say, uh, yeah, with the four days to go here, and see, we have to talk faster to, to get out. As, you know, I'm late, because I've got to get out as much information as possible. So I've been talking fast. And you, you can tell that Joe Biden is talking fast. That's the reason he becomes incoherent. But I've gotten good at figuring out what people are saying. And you, I've been able to do that with a lot of what Joe Biden says. And so you can see he's just talking fast, which, you know, he's got to slow down. You know. Although, you know, Trump doesn't talk fast like that. You notice that? Uh, I would guess it's because he doesn't have much to say. 
Okay, back to the video. Fashion day or three or something, uh, depending on the time zone. I'm in Amsterdam. Uh, <laughs> he he. The other day he was holding a rally. Did did he say he's in Amsterdam? <laughs> It's funny, he had like pumpkins behind him and everything, so it's like spoopy. And it's like Joe Biden, he doesn't need to wear a costume because he always looks like a, a zombie anyway, like he just crawled out of a crypt. Uh, especially well, I've hardly watched any of his videos just because I don't want to, <laughs> and I don't have the time for this crap. But that's ridiculous. See, so Parallel University. Between this guy's video titles and his name, is this the best you could do? Especially that one time he was in Pennsylvania, and I guess they didn't have time to put his makeup on beforehand, and the lighting was wrong. He looked like he was literally rotting. Uh, it's very interesting. I'm going to try to pronounce a word that doesn't exist, and Biden promises that he's going to mobilize this. So it looks like another Trump flip there. Like he's doing, he's taking what people have said about Trump and just put, you know, projecting it back on Biden. And they're they're doing this with everything. Have you noticed this? This is not a game. These these psychos are treating this like some game. They just love tormenting us. And killing? Do you like the, do you like all the deaths? I think in context of COVID, and if you look actually, link in the description, you can see his his statement. Look at the comments, and there are like a thousand different people there trying to interpret what he said and figure out what he actually meant, because he tried to say like three or four words at once, so it's not even clear. Now I'm going to try to pronounce it and butcher it anyway, yeah. but it does. Exactly. That's that's what happens. I, I've been saying this for years that oh the reason I end up saying nothing and I get stuck a lot is because I have so many things in my head I have to pick one and that's tough to do and and sometimes you know we all do this when we have too much to say we will overlap and, and mix up the words doesn't matter because that's literally what Biden did. Uh, Truna Limonumo Preserve or something like that. So he's going to immobilize this against... I guess. Yeah, I'd like to see the clip of this. <laughs> Maybe I can figure it out. Yes, coronavirus um, or, or, in, or for the economy or something. It's not entirely clear in the context. We've gotten used to Biden saying weird things. And it's like to the point where this sort of thing, when he just mashes his words together... It almost seems innocuous and it's just like lighthearted and funny because sometimes it's much more severe. Sometimes it's more like he, he forgets he's running for the presidency or he refers to himself as his own wife or something like that. Like, you know, frequently, I think. I was just checking to see if this is a real long video. It's actually short compared with mine. But what's weird is he hasn't really said anything of substance yet. And what's weird about that is my videos are longer, yet I've got substance all over the place. I would never, I would never go um, almost two minutes in the beginning of my video without really saying something important. No wonder this guy's popular. Because <laughs> yeah, apparently... People don't want to hear important things. They just want to hear crap that is, will just entertain them, pass the time, kill time. That's what I was looking for. Three times now, in the last six months or so, I think three different times he's announced that he's running for the U.S. Senate instead of the presidency. When a 78-year-old man starts making that kind of mistake under normal circumstances... No. He... That's just uh, when your brain is somewhere else. You know, he, is, he has debated Trump twice, and he doesn't come off as senile.
Okay, skipping ahead. Starts occasionally forgetting where he is. He starts uh, apparently. Yeah, Trump did that recently. Getting combative sometimes with other people, even people that are softballing him. When these things happen. Yes, right. At least he's making money. Just sort of a thing, like, you know. I mean, this guy here. You know, he's making money. This guy from. He's, well, that reminds me of Veg Police. You know, just turn on the camera and brain fart for eight minutes and collect the cash. If I start having. You know, if I'm 75 years old, which, you know, may or may not ever even happen, uh, and I start. For, uh, you need to get checked out, dude. <laughs> you need to put your affairs in order because you're fucked. Um, normally that's what happens, but it sounds like everyone around Joe Biden just sort of ignores it. And he wasn't like the Do you remember Baring? Remember this guy? Yeah, he debated a vegan gains years back. Trump derangement syndrome is at fever pitch. That's all they got. <laughs> And I would like to take on one of these people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to click this right now and challenge him to a debate. If, if I could talk to one of these people, I could show everybody that these people have nothing. I'll tell you what. And they can't win a, a debate with someone like me on any level. See, look at this. Oh, and read the comments and you see they're all just like clowns. Yet there's millions of these people. They took over the United States. Okay, I'm going to type now. Okay. That'll, that'll do it for now. Uh, let's see. And not worth watching. Yeah, you remember this guy? This guy, this guy wrote, he didn't have game. He, well, actually, that's what happens when you're just on the wrong side. That's what would make this easier than debating Bart. So easy. <laughs> and I don't think this is going to happen because I don't think they would debate this before and this is what people look at the content he's got he's got nothing Trump, you... Trump has nothing I'm surprised he accepted that second debate it, it didn't go well you're like if you've got Trump derangement syndrome and you care about the election or if you're just sort of watching CNN in general or something and you're out to lunch you're a soccer mom middle American See, these, these people all are playing the same note. They're one note clowns. This, all they have is the same talking points. They, it's, this is, it's like, these people are like trolls. We all know trolls. Well, Trump was our first troll candidate and our troll society, uh, Troll, the troll people out there just thought that would be great to put one of us into the White House and troll the whole world. That's what it really seems to me. Now, you might say, oh, I've got the derangement syndrome then, because that sounds pretty crazy, right? 
okay, take me on. Let's go live. Talk for as many hours as you want. And let's show me that I'm the crazy one and you are not. It, it, a lot of people seem to be under the delusion, like they've actually been fed the bullshit that Joe Biden always had a speaking problem, that he's trying to cover up a stutter and that when things like this happen, it's just a stutter. Oh, wow. he's, he's now denying a linguistic childhood problem. They will go as low as they can. They have no, they have no limit. They have no bottom. I, I started a little bit. You know, yeah, I just did it. <laughs> but I didn't even, I don't even need to use that as an excuse for Biden. He's t he's trying to talk too fast. He has too much to say. He's on fire, fired up, ready to go. And, we, and I'm ready to go too. I'm ready for this to be over. I've been wired for the last week, you can tell. But I can look at literally dozens and dozens of hours of interviews and speeches that he's made in front of the Senate, various committees, as vice president. He was never like that. Yes, he was, he was gaff prone. And right. There's a whole bunch of footage of him where he's not talking incoherently. That's because he wasn't under pressure. He wasn't fired up. He is now. He's just talking fast. But this guy's spending all this time trying to make it look like Biden has something wrong with him. What is it so wrong that it's worse than all of Trump's negative qualities? Of course not. And I'll take you on. I'm ready to take you on, sticks. You accept or are you going to run and hide like Trump did? <laughs> Some clips in my last video. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. He's always hiding. And that's why he projects that Biden is hiding in his basement. Uh, no, he's not. <laughs> in a sense, like remember the hot mic moment where he told Obama, this is a big fucking deal and stuff like that. And, and Obama was visibly angry at that. And he was just sort of seen as a little bit of a bumbler, like sort of like a Gerald Ford character or something. He was seen as like bumbling. Ten years ago, Biden could deliver a speech. He'd make one or two mistakes like any politician in that age range, but it wasn't anything significant. Trump does that too. Trump, meanwhile, if you want to compare it, because whenever you bring this up on like a Biden thread or something, uh, the Biden babies will come out and say, well, use the whataboutism and say, well, Trump's the one that's incoherent. Well, look, I can look back at Trump's speaking style and it's been remarkably consistent. It's really no different than it's always been. He's he's sort of always been like that because he has that, you know, I'm better than you boardroom. Wait, wait, wait. This guy's right. <laughs> but it's also funny that that's, that's the best he can do is say, Trump has always been this crazy. <laughs> Yeah, he was born like this. <laughs> Mentality. Biden, to his credit, actually, at least as a senator and, and early on in the vice presidency, was actually a very good public speaker. He was actually a very good debater. We're spring chickens, and we were having a national conversation about whether it was appropriate to have two candidates for the presidency pushing 70. Now We've got one that's pushing 80 and another one pushing 75. I would think that this should be a conversation. It was important last time around, but because of Trump derangement. Yes, uh, I agree. There should be an upper age limit on the presidency. There's a lower age limit. But, you know, we are where we're at. We are where we are. And so why talk about that? Does he not have any clips? Jeez. Pretty poor effort there. Okay, moving on. So, 
that's about it. <laughs> That'll do it. So, so let's uh, let's get this guy's attention. Ask him if he'll debate me. <laughs> that's that's about it. Thumbs up. Share this video. You know where to share it. You know where to share this video. That sticks guy, man. What's up with that guy?